I think bold marketing for me is about trusting yourself, um, being prepared to take risks, being prepared to fail, um, critically empowering your team and empowering the people around you so you create an environment where you really can do things that are different, that are brave, uh, and where you accept that sometimes you'll fail, but in that journey um, you're likely to achieve something different. Um, at a personal level, I think you know, working in a different culture, in a different language at the times I felt particularly challenged. Working in Italy and only knowing a few words of Italian to begin with, that's difficult. Working in Africa in an environment where you, know, you don't understand the depth of the culture um, and there's not much data, those things certainly for me challenged me when I've been used to a lot of data and a lot of rigor. Um, and then in particular, things around innovation. Uh, you know, where you're really trying to do things that are different. Um, you certainly get challenged all the time doing that. Um, I, innovation, Sil Salo always used to say to me, you know, innovation is marketing only harder. Um, there's some truth in that. Um, innovation does require bold leadership. It does require trusting and empowering people. Um, it's about making sure you've really found big, powerful insights that you can tap into that really can change things. Um, and again, being prepared to fail because you know you won't get it right all of the time. Um, I, my, my mum's going to be dead proud, so that's fantastic. Um, but the Marketing Society is a fantastic body. You get to spend time with great, stimulating people. Um, and it's, a, it's an honour to be a fellow here. Um, an opportunity to talk and to learn from others um, and also to retire with my pipe and slippers. I mean, the Marketing Society is, a, is just a fantastic body, a fantastic wealth of connections, of experience, um, of, of a network uh, and an opportunity to, to really learn and also to share some of the things that you've experienced.